Good day everyone, my name is Arslan and welcome to my YouTube channel guys, so I hope you're doing good. Um, you know today we are going to be making the perforated uh, metal facade inside Revit, alright? So check this out, there's an image that I, I, I'm seeing and look at how beautiful the facade is, right? So it's very easy even when I when I looked at the shape, I mean when the first time I saw it, these are just curtain panel based templates and then they have insta uh, they, I mean they have installed these voids, alright? First of all they, they made it a solid form, they put these voids and then they deleted some of the voids. So it's very easy. We are going to be using a circle instead of this, and we are going to be making this inside Revit today, right? So, you know, I quickly went to Revit. I made a very random building, and look at how unprofessional <laughs> and uh, you could say I want to say stupid, but unprofessional my shapes are. All right, so I randomly just made planes. I went to level one. I made planes. I put all these reference points. I connected them, and I made this pattern. All right. Then I went to the pattern. I set the size to one meter by one meter. So I mean, these shapes may look very unprofessional, and check this one out, but. Uh, you know uh, once you you're done with this video you can have an idea and then you can come up with your own shapes right so we are going to be using the curtain um panel pattern based template and the first thing is that uh, let's press un okay let's quickly now get to the video so two decimal places and uh, millimeters okay okay let's set the size of this to to what to one thousand by one thousand fine done now let's click on that and uh, let's go to create form and let's find okay that is done now let's press tab and let's go to the materials and let's write um um s t e e l something steel something steel so um, metal panel okay let's go for metal panel and uh, fun, uh, fine that is done all right now let's go back to our our level one so this is our panel right let's go to model let's go to circle and uh, let's try to zoom in a little bit and let's uh, 20 mm okay this is the the 20 mm is the radius it means that the diameter is going to be 40 let's just place it right here and let's convert this into a void um so let's go back to our 3d view and uh, this is our void guys so um now once that is done okay this is our void so now let's just cut from this point to this point um cut from this point to this point okay it does not want to cut how about we go to back and now it automatically got cutted is cutted the right word so it just got um subtracted right now let's go back to a level one and uh, it's okay if we cannot see the void how about we press vr and uh, unlimited 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 and uh, here you go so now um, now that our void is made right so let's just simply click on that and uh, the size of this is one meter by one meter, isn't it? And uh, let's just uh, check our shape. Everything's fine, right? And it already got subtracted from that. So constant shapes, all right, fine. Um, cut from this point to this point. Uh, now let's go back to a level one and uh, let's um, let's do it one more time. Um, okay, so now let's go to tap. Because we would have to copy the shape, so I wanna, I wanna make sure that it is perfect. And guys, it is not recommended, but we are gonna be using the traditional copy, all right? So just bring your cursor to this point and just leave your mouse alone and uh, type 60, enter, 60, enter. And uh, let me, um, let's go back for a bit. I was showing you guys and I did a mistake. So tab, uh, click on that, circle, and uh, mistakenly I moved the mouse. So um, 16 to 16 to I mean you can do it very quickly right I'm typing look at that I'm talking and I'm typing uh, 60 um, how about 45 yes this is it all right so this is uh, I mean it's a very uh, if you if you spend more time on it so you can perfect it out so how about a bit to the left um okay fine now let's just uh, copy that let's go to filters and uh, 17 is the one let's check none and uh, this is it right and uh, let's do the same thing so copy and <coughs> excuse me guys um copy and just bring your mouse to right here and uh All right, guys. So check this out. This is what we have end up with. Now let's uh, you know randomly uh, delete a few. So delete and uh, delete. All 
all right so check this out guys it is complete and uh, i mean the overall process is not hard it just takes a bit of time and uh, you know you can even play around more with it if you want to now let's load into the project okay so let's load it in and uh, this is uh, we have already applied the materials that's fine now let's just uh, click on our pattern and uh, this is what is this uh, family five and uh, let's go down to here so this is the family five and uh, let's wait for it to load in and check this out guys so we are complete and uh, look at how beautiful this is and uh, if we for example go to this one and again we go to we go to family five and uh, we 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 go to this one right here and uh, let's again go to to family five and uh, family five all right let's go uh, finish mass so this is it guys uh, i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you learned <coughs> excuse me i hope you learned something from it and uh, this is the 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 perforated metal fakir inside uh, revit uh, if you go to the hidden lines and uh, look at how beautiful this is so look at our reference image this is our reference image and uh, this is the one that we made the perforated metal fakir right so i mean uh, you know my random and unprofessional shapes turned out to be good right i mean you can make uh, a lot of things with that so have a good day take care of yourself and uh, do like and subscribe and uh, bye bye